Hello and welcome to Financially Forward TV, the place where we use faith and finances to move you forward. My name is Leah Woodley and I'm your personal financial strategist. If you're a parent like me, saving for your child's college education may be one of your financial goals. This is definitely important to me because when I was going to school, I had to enroll late for a few semesters because I just didn't have the tuition when it was due. I didn't want my child to experience this, so I started saving for my college, my child's college education since he was six weeks old. I want to clue you in on the savings vehicle I use and one that I deem to be the best out there for anyone, regardless of your income, whether you're making a lot of money or not so much, it doesn't matter. It's called a 529 plan. It is the absolute best savings vehicle out there. This is how it works. There are two different components to a 529 plan and two different options in which you can choose to enroll. One is an investment savings plan and the other is a prepaid college trust. With the investment savings plan, you contribute a minimum monthly amount. Of course, you can exceed that minimum, um, but in most states, the minimum is only $25. So that's like skipping lunch or skipping your Starbucks run once a week. You can afford it regardless of your income. The other option is a prepaid college trust. And with a prepaid college trust, you're able to lock in today's tuition. So if today's tuition at your state school is around $7,000 a semester, in the future, that's all you'll be paying is that $7,000 a semester. And let me tell you this, college tuition increases on average at 7% per year. So that is a definite savings that you would get by using the prepaid college trust. Now, I will say that with the prepaid college trust, your minimum investment amount will be more than what you more than the minimum for the savings plan. Let me tell you some additional benefits about the 529 plan. Any money that you contribute is tax deferred and any money that you withdraw that is a qualified educational expense is tax free. That means when you're paying for tuition, you're paying for room and board, you're paying any school fees, even if that school requires your student to have a laptop or any other additional equipment. That is all coming out tax free. So you can't beat that. You may be wondering what you would do in the event that your child doesn't end up needing the money because he or she is so brilliant and has a full ride to school. That money can be taken out. There would be a penalty of 10% on your federal taxes if it's not used for other college expenses. In addition to that, that money would be included in your gross income on your federal and state taxes. Another option would be to roll that over for another child and that can be done completely free. So I want you to move forward now. Go to Google and type in 529 in your state. For example, if you live in California, type in 529 California and research the options that you have out there. You cannot afford to miss out on the 529 plan. Take advantage of it. Have a good week, be blessed, and be financially forward. Thank you.